Oh, you are the most handsome in the whole world. Oh, yes, you said I wanted my cameo. Get up here, all the way up. Do you want to get up here with me? <laughs> that guy cracks me up. What's up, guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I recorded this workout on Monday, but I've been crazy busy trying to get it out. Trying to get it out. Crazy busy with life and trying to record this and everything. It's just been like, I've been a ball of stress. I really have. Because I've been wanting to get this out and be more consistent with YouTube. My schedule has just not allowed it because I don't have a ring light yet. So I can only record like sit down stuff certain time of the day and that's this time right now um so i can only record this kind of stuff and i can record other stuff throughout the day but i like to have at least like a little bit sit down and talk throughout it and because it's going to be an informative leg workout i wanted to be able to sit down and talk as well if you hear huffing and puffing it's gus he wants to play we just played with a puppy and now he's hype af do you want to see if Tony wants to play today? Let's call Tony. Let me actually text him right now. Tony is my brother's dog. Gus, I'm trying to get you a play date right now. I'm trying to hook you up. All right, now I'm learning about the small intestine over here. I've been talking too long. It's fine. Oh my goodness, I wore the same sweatshirt during the leg workout. Here's the thing about recording for YouTube slash recording in general slash me in general. I wear the same clothes like every day. I clean them but I like literally rotate through like three outfits and I like wear the same leggings all the time. Like I have four pairs, five pairs of leggings that I like and I rotate through them especially because I'm always wearing like sweatshirts. So I guess it's being loud AF over here. I'm always wearing sweatshirts or guts. You're being too loud. Stop. Gus. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, I always wear like sweatshirts and like I have like four like t-shirts that I like always have like laying near my bed. And when I get home and I'm in uncomfortable clothes, I just pop them on. So like I promise I wash my clothes. And I promise that like I have not washed this since Monday, but it's a sweatshirt. You don't like wash sweatshirts every time you wear them. Anyways, so I have been shadowing a personal trainer at my gym at the jc um and it's been really cool and really awesome and i like did shadowing and then i did this leg workout and it was awesome and it's a similar leg workout that's on my body space profile so i'll link my body I'll, I'll link my body space profile below so you guys can see it and see i feel like away from me hi so you guys can see it and um like see everything that's going on first of all i wish i was wearing a different color legging so that you guys could see the ugly bit granny butt squeeze when i talk about it but the angles aren't the best so you don't get to see all my cellulite i'm sorry but i'd like you to know that i have it and that when you're coming up from a squat deadlift anything where you're trying to work your glutes you should be squeezing them so hard and making them look so ugly because an ugly butt inside of the gym equals a voluptuous booty outside of the gym so squeeze your butt don't be ashamed guys do it too this isn't just only girls do it so i just warming up a little bit holding my rice cake living my life um do i like ever squat all right then i use the bar and i just use it to warm up a little bit i move around at the bottom of it and get my hips warmed up you saw me doing some mobility stretches i like to do that before i squat if you go straight in the gym and like go straight to squatting like i don't know how you do it um you'll see me or i've talked about warming up it's so important your joints your muscles everything is so important and so fragile fragile that 
like if you're interested in doing this for a long time like you need to warm up your joints yes zach wilson i'm talking to you who says he never warms up especially his shoulders like shoulders i'm extra careful about warming up because like they're very fragile fragile do you want to like tear your shoulder no and like when you talk if you have like problems with your hips or anything while you're squatting and things feel tight stretch them and they'll feel much better mobility get them warmed up you don't want to you don't just like like for the oven you don't just throw stuff in when it's cold you wait for it to warm up so there's my little analogy for the day so i did some squats and i um since prep i've been trying to get my strength back and squats are one of the hardest things for me i used to like not really like them but i've made a resolution to myself to start doing things i don't like because that's how i'm going to get better um i find that once i find like a body part that i like or an exercise that i like it's normally because i'm good at it and i like to do things i'm good at but i'm trying to push myself outside of the comfort zone so i try to do squats every leg day I don't care if my quads grow a lot of people are like afraid of their quads growing but like quad squad i'm about it um so i start with well what i've been doing lately i'm sorry this is all over the place i didn't really plan this um because i can't do more than 135 with good form for multiple reps i stay with 135. i want to get my squat back up to where it was like a while ago but it's not there yet so after prep I couldn't even do 135 but once I could I did it for like three sets of two and so what I've been doing is moving up the sets of reps each time and so now I'm at six sets of five or five sets of six with 135 and I'm gonna keep going until I either hit 10 sets or 10 reps and then I'm gonna try to move up to 155 that's just how I'm doing it I've talked to other people who say that once you get your like if you do it for more sets and you don't try to test your max every second of the day then like your max is going to be higher instead of just trying to like oh if i did 155 for like one like that's a lot of pressure on my joints and muscles and everything like that so i do 135 i do it for multiple sets and reps and i'm trying to work up so you'll see me doing that um and yeah that's me doing some stuff um but another thing with squats and i'm not always doing it but when you do it try to keep your gaze like this like in front of you like look at a point in front of you on the floor because if you keep your head up and i do it sometimes i'm not saying i'm perfect if you keep your head up then like your spine's going to be in a weird position you want to keep your spine neutral so your back is like this and you want to keep your spine in that position so looking down somewhere in front of you um, here's another angle of me doing squats. Again, I wish you could see my ugly granny butt squeeze. Then I moved on to deadlifts, which is something I used to not do. I used to do like dumbbell deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts, like not using the platform. But again, I was like, I need to start doing good at this. I want to be strong. I don't just want to look aesthetically pleasing. So I started doing deadlifts. Another reason I didn't do deadlifts, and this is really bad of me, I was lazy. It's hard to load those plates because we don't have like a cool contraption to load them on. So it's like annoying to load the plates, but I got over it and I did it. And I've also been focusing on, I have a lot of muscle imbalance, not a lot, but I can notice a muscle imbalance. And most of you probably can too with your dominant arm or dominant hand. And it's not just like, so like, let's say I'm doing curls. Um, all If you're doing like single arm, I've been... I've been focusing on isolateral movement, so doing one side at a time, so doing like one-legged things and then doing the other leg and doing one arm things and the other arm and then doing them together at the end um, because I've noticed muscle imbalances. So let's say I have 15 pound dumbbells in each hand and I'm doing um, curls. Let's say I pump out 15 really easy with my right arm and I can do 15 with my left arm but it's harder that's a muscle imbalance like your muscles aren't the same so what i've been trying to do is start with your weaker arm or weaker leg or whatever and do that first so then let's say i can only do 10 with my left arm i don't want to start with my right arm and do 15 and then only get to 10 with my left arm so start with your weaker arm and really like focus on that when you're using uh bilateral movements or like both at the same time your other side can compensate 
So if you're doing leg press and your left leg is weaker, you might not notice it, but your right leg is pushing harder. And like, that's why sometimes like I put my right butt cheek looks better than my left one. I guess I could have said glute. Um, like it might be the way I pose in pictures, but like it's just more developed. So I've really been working on getting both of those together. And with that, um, the way you grip things. So with a deadlift, I've been working on doing both overhand because if you do like one overhand, one underhand, that can lead to muscle imbalances and it doesn't have to, but it can. So I sometimes do this, but I'll make sure if I'm doing like four sets, I'll do two, two. So I'm like keeping it together. So I've been doing both hands. It's harder that way. I've been trying not to use grips because I really want to focus on my grip strength because it's not a one and I want it to be. So here I am doing some deadlifts. I did, I think six sets at 136, no, four sets of six at 135. Then I did I did 135, 155, and then 185. And when I got to 185, I did two sets of one, and you'll see me fail at 185 multiple times before I get it, but I was determined to freaking pull that weight. Move over to 185. I come over, try to pull it up. Oh, look, it's not gonna go up. Try again, it's not gonna go up. You know what, I didn't give up, I did it for one. I come back, try again, didn't go up. Then I finally got it up. So I was determined that I was gonna pull 185 with same hand grip, and that I was gonna do it without grips or anything, and I freaking did it. Like, and I know 185 isn't like the most impressive thing ever, but for someone who like didn't use to deadlift until like a few, like a month or so ago, it's pretty impressive to me. Then I did some glute bridges. I normally do it with like an actual bench, but there was no bench in sight. And it kind of was at a weird angle and felt weird. So after I did two sets, um, I switched because it was just feeling very weird um, and did like one leg hip up dealios. And with that hip circle from Mark Bell the slingshot, I can feel the burn. Um, then I, I was walking over, I went to go do leg extensions and our leg press like had a problem last year and they got a part replaced. Now we're getting a whole new one, but they had this sign and like whoever wrote this sign, I love you. Um, and the hashtags go, <laughs> hashtag no leg press, hashtag still do legs, hashtag Tuesday can still be leg day, <laughs> hashtag we have power racks, hashtag don't switch and do arms. Like that kind of stuff gets me. So then I did leg extension and I did a um, rest pause set. And you can see this really pretty face. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, rest pause sets are when you do two. So I'll just give Gus is sitting at the edge of his bed with his legs crossed. He's staring me down. Um, so what you do is um, you do a heavy weight. So I'm doing 100 pounds for this leg extension and I did it for a set of 15 or 12 to 15. You try to get 12 to 15. Then you rest for only 15 seconds and then at that same weight you try to max out again. So a lot of people say like, oh with heavy weight you do less reps and with low weight you do more reps. But rest pause is kind of an in between of that slash like you're doing a lot of reps with heavy weight and you're trying to like go till mechanical failure so like when you cannot push it any further and then you drop the weight 50 percent and you do tempo so you do four up rest one four down rest one so four one four one or one four one four um and doing that even at 50 percent weight like painful 
because you really have to focus on that mind muscle connection and you've just like burned out your legs and now you're doing it at 50% but you're going so slow and you think you're gonna die but you don't die you just like grow amazing quads so if you're interested in rest pause I can talk more about that it's something that Nick implemented during my prep and I love it and I try to use it at least once slash even for a whole um, day of work and I moved on to grow them calves because team no calves, team baby calves, team I don't know, I don't have any calves and that's why I wear leg warmers because self-conscious about my calves. Also fashion. Um, but with calves, make sure you're, Gus really wants attention. Uh, make sure you're pushing all the way back and forth. So I see a lot of people going like meh, 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 meh. That's really not gonna help. You need the full stretch. So you, that's like doing quarter squat. You're doing quarter cats. Don't do it. Um, you wanna make sure you get that full flexion this way and full flexion this way. So you're, you see me pushing all the way back and all the way forward. That's how you're gonna get the calves to grow. Except I don't have caps, so maybe you shouldn't listen to me. Um, then I did lying leg curl, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I also like doing it with a dumbbell, but if I'm not working out with someone, it's hard to get like the dumbbell in between my legs. Or maybe I'm just like, can't do it, not talented. So I set it on 30 pounds. Yes, it's very light. And I did a set of 10 with both legs and really focus on using your hamstrings to bring it up. You don't wanna use your ankles or like your calves or whatever to bring it up. You're using your hamstrings to pull it. When I talk about mind muscle connection, you can do a whole exercise, a whole workout, a whole everything with not working the muscle you're trying to work. Like again, bicep curls. If you're swinging all over the place, you're not really working your bicep. You're probably working your back and shoulders and like whatever else more than you're using your bicep. That's why you wanna use controlled movement. Focus on that contraction, contraction, that concentric and eccentric movement you want to focus on that and same way with every other exercise when you're doing squats or you're doing deadlifts or you're doing leg curls focus on those hamstrings pulling it up contracting those hamstrings to pull them up so I do 10 with both legs then I do 10 with right leg 10 with my left leg man you can see some booty gains in there and some hamstring gains I'm admiring myself Sometimes you need to mire yourself. Um, so then after that, I put the top of my body up right more on the leg press and 10 more. And that's why I had to do the lightweight because it's so freaking hard. It's hard guys. And I saw this on my coach's YouTube and I did it once and it literally killed it. Targets that like lower glute area, which is actually what the coaches, coaches, what the judges said at my competition that I held a lot of fat there. So I'm trying to, you know, strengthen those muscles. So when I cut, then it'll be muscle, not fat. Uh, so I did that and that's just one set doing those four sets of 10. Um, so I did three sets of that. And then the best and the worst way to end leg day, walking lunges. So a lot of people don't always do lunges, but you should, even if you're a guy, do lunges. Do lunges and do split squats because they are gonna be amazing for your legs. Like they just are. Um, so Nick did this again in my programming and it literally kills me. Like I cannot express that this way that he set up walking lunges killed me. So you do two sets with weight. I'm holding 20s or 25s here, I don't know. Then, you so you do one set is 12 for each leg holding weight then you do a second set 12 with each leg holding weight then you drop the weight and you go till failure like you literally cannot step another foot in front of another you see my face here and i'll just like pop up like slow-mo of my face in pain so you guys can see i want to stop i want to freaking stop but then i'm like wait i can still do more so many times and like this is gonna be a little rant right here so many times people are like oh that was hard so like i can't do anymore yeah you can like 
that's what I talk about when I talk about you can do hard things and why it's in my Instagram bio is because like so many people don't give themselves enough credit for what they can do. And I know people might be like, that's a stupid analogy for like how many lunges you can do, but it's freaking true. Like I, I say like way too many times. I want to stop after back and forth, but I say, no, I can do more. And what do you know? I did back and forth again. And I think I did back and forth for third or fourth time. And it, people passing me probably were like, what is this chick doing? Her face is making some weird like pain. And I was, I just kept going. I kept going until I could not put one foot in front of another. And something that my coach talks about is intensity. So a lot of people complain that they're not making enough progress or they don't feel like they're making progress. And he said, spend a, a month putting it all on the table and tell me you're not making progress. You're not making progress because you're not trying hard enough. And I know that might be harsh, but it's true. Like, and you know it in your heart that you're not really trying as hard as you could be. It could still be hard for you, but you're not really trying as hard as you can. And I catch myself doing that. I say, well, that was like a pretty good pump and like that was a good workout, like I'm good. No, push until you cannot push any further and tell me you're not making progress. Because if you're doing that and then not making progress, like I'll be completely amazed. But I know that myself included, do not push myself to the absolute limit. Nick said that he was it was like after another brutal leg day and he was talking to his girlfriend and he was laying on the floor like he could not stand up yet and she was like why do you do this to yourself and he said because I can and because I want to grow and that's all I need and you know this is gonna be just a leg workout but I'm gonna go off on a little tangent right now and I think Gabby went off on a tangent I don't know if she's posted the YouTube video yet but um after the gym on on Wednesday, we handed out my protein shirts. And afterwards, uh, I went over to her house just to talk for a little bit. And we got in a very like passionate discussion about like health and fitness and all that kind of stuff. And we started reminiscing on before we like learned about our bodies and started caring for our bodies. Like how we wanted to look and we could remember pictures on Pinterest and like pictures of girls. Like we remembered our exact thoughts of looking at pictures or workouts and thinking like, I want to look like that. And we remember like beating ourselves up and like we were going through pictures and we were like, I remember my exact thoughts when I looked at that picture. And for me, I actually found the picture and I'm going to bring it up because I'm like, like I talked about on my Instagram post the other day about like how it's been a year since I started my fitness Instagram and like how I want to like spread education and that's like what I want to do and it's because for so long I thought there was a problem with me when it was a problem with the people marketing fitness and health and all of that so there's this picture and I remember I saved it and I did it and I hated myself because I didn't look like this girl and it was sexy leg workout and it was 15 minutes and it was supposed to give you sexy legs. Like I'm sure some of you guys have seen this workout on Pinterest and it's 20 squats, 30 lunges, 40 calf raises. 50 second wall sit, 100 jumping jacks, 50 second wall sit, 40 sumo squats, 30 leg raises, and 20 squats. And I did that for 30 days and I didn't have sexy legs. And I just want to put it out there, even though body weight exercises are good, you're not gonna get sexy, sexy legs by 30 day workout plan. And that's what I think is freaking wrong with the world. Like. I know that might be extreme or you might be like, oh, you didn't get sexy legs, boo hoo. But for someone who has like problems with their body and like has never had a positive body image and never loved their body, when they see other people doing 30 day workouts and exercises and achieving these goals, then you think something's wrong with you and you hate your body more because you don't look like this person when they said you would look like them if you did what they did. And I think that it is so wrong on so many levels that people will be like, I did this for 30 days and if you want these same results, 
no you didn't do that for 30 days you got that from hard work and then you're trying to sell me a product and you're making me feel like shit about myself so gabby was mad because she's been seeing all these people try and sell like leg workouts or like one body part workouts for like hundreds of dollars and she's like i sell mine for like seven or ten dollars or whatever because like I'm not trying to scam people and I've bought a $200 workout plan that didn't help me. Like I have it, like I bought it $200 and it didn't help me. It didn't help me one bit. And then when we were on Pinterest, we were looking through and like this, like, cause I saw someone save something to their Pinterest wall and I was like outraged and it's the seven day 1200 calorie plan and if you you watch my video about cutting and bulking I'm very passionate about the point that girls should not be eating 1200 calories and one of my KHP classes the other day um we were talking about like differences between boys and girls and in the textbook it said that like women take up less space and that's like a behavioral trait of women and that made me mad like for so long, women have been told to take up less space and be small and be less. I refuse to be less. I refuse to be small. And not even like, I'm not trying to body shame anyone and saying like, if you're small and skinny, then you're, like, you're conforming to society's values. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you don't need to be small if that's what you think you need to be. If you think you need to have thin legs to love yourself or for someone else to love you like that's what i'm saying is wrong and like if you think you have to starve yourself and eat 1200 calories to look the way you want and love your body like that's what's wrong and like this 20 day resistance band booty and thigh challenge this girl's butt did not look this way after 20 days that is physically impossible unless you have butt implants and this again 25 day bigger butt workout plan and I'm sure these aren't the first time you've seen these workouts like on Pinterest, on the internet, on anything. And I just want to let you know, first of all, you're not a failure for not looking that way after adhering to these plans. And second of all, they're fake. They are fake. Like you will not get sexy legs in 30 days by doing body weight exercise. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're probably not going to get sexy legs in 30 days regardless. Like I have built this body and I still like have problems with my body and still like struggle with body image. But like the thing is like I no longer wish to be someone else. I no longer look at my body and say if only my legs were thinner or if only I didn't have this pooch on my st <laughs> I did not mean for this video to get so emotional. But as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this and very passionate about the fact that you do not like have to think that way anymore. You really don't have to think that you have to look a certain way to love yourself. It's easy to look at me and say, well, now you have the dream body and you are on Instagram and you have this many followers. So of course you love yourself. But like, it wasn't the fact that I got leaner or looked better. The reason I love myself, it's when I realized that I am a human being with muscles and a mind and a soul. And I am so much more than my body. I am more than what I look like on Instagram. You are more like, my legs, they're bigger now. And they're, they're, like people look and say like, oh, your quads are gross. I love my quads because I grew them and they are my muscle and I deserve to love them. And that's why I get so mad when people talk about like getting bulky or whatever with bodybuilding or they just want to tone up because like that's, that's just so dumb you are strong you can be as big or as small as you want you can bodybuild you can do cardio you can do crossfit you can do nothing but at least at least think of your body and yourself as a whole and know that your having a good body should be the least interesting thing about you 
and I hope that some of you take that to heart today. And I'm really sorry that this got so emotional, but that is gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this leg workout. And um, I don't know what else to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're feeling about these emotions. And uh, as always, my my protein link is I feel so dumb trying to sell you products now. I promise you don't need supplements, but if you want them, they're in the link in the description box and you can DM me, email me, talk to me anytime about how you can use supplements and that kind of stuff. Love you guys so much.